can't help it. I, I, I'm, I'm excited about what God's doing. Amen. I don't know what he's doing in your life, but I can tell you for certain that he's blessing in our life. Amen. Amen. And uh, things, God is doing awesome things. Amen. And I like that. And you know what? When he does something, the Bible says to acknowledge him in all our ways. And he'll guide our path. He'll, he'll, in other words, he'll plan our day out for us if we'll just let, if we'll just acknowledge who he is. Amen. Let somebody know. Tell somebody along the way, hey, he's my everything. Amen. 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 He's my Lord. Don't be ashamed of him, but be ready to give somebody uh, uh, an answer. Amen. For what lies inside you. That's what the word says. Amen. You know, and he's the greatest thing that's ever happened to his church. Now, I'm going to tell you something. We will never make it out of this world without Jesus. And you need to know Him now. Amen. I heard one preacher say it like this. You need to know Him while He's your Savior. You don't want to know Him as your judge. Amen. I want to know Him as my Savior. Praise God. Uh, can we do it? We've got the power. I really like this song because if we get it down inside us, that God has given us the power that these things that ain't going to come and over, just overflood us and overrun us in our daily lives. Hey, how, many, how many likes uh, uh, just to be alarmed by something? How many likes news that just comes and alarms you all at once? Ain't nobody is that. I like to hear something that's like, oh, I'm going to stop your heart. But i got news for you. When you know that you have power, he said, I'll give you power over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means. Are y'all with me this morning? This ain't a fairy tale. Come on, church. This ain't a fairy tale. This is truth. And when he says, I give you power, honey, you've got power against the devil. When the devil sends bad news, send him back down the road packing his bad news somewhere else. Amen. Amen. Be ready to get, get excited about what God's doing instead of... Uh, Receiving everything that the devil throws at you. I guarantee you it'll, it'll change. But this says, I love it. I love this song. Just let it get down inside you. Let it bless your heart this morning.
<laughs> Amen. Glory. When, when you agree with what's being said, you can holler, Amen. Amen. I agree with that. The Bible talks about us being able to be in agreement and being able to walk together. But if we're not in agreement, we can't walk together. That's what the Word says. And I want you to know something. It ain't about how you believe and how this one believes and that one back there believes. It's when we come in the unity of agreement. And this is what God's been dealing with me for the last week. Or part of the last week. That there's an agreement. And we've got to agree. It ain't about what other churches, different ones, if they don't agree with the Word, then I can't agree with them. If you can agree with the Word and I can agree with the Word, then we're, we can walk together. And God can use us. I'm telling you something, church. God's getting the church ready. He's getting the church ready. Don't look around and be dismayed by what you see, but know that God is getting things together. He's getting things ready. You know what's going to be right when He gets it together? And it's going to be good, and it's going to reach out and touch people's lives. Now, you know what? I, I don't want anything built on self. Because whatever's built on self or built on man's going to fall. But what is built on Christ Jesus is going to stand. And that's what we're looking for. Amen. I tell you, I, I, I love him with all my heart. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad when Sunday rolls around, we can come together and worship God. And God's always got a, a word in my heart. And I praise him for it. Amen. You know, and it, I, sometimes he just gives me little things all week long, Sister Judy. He'll give me stuff all week long. And I'll say, Lord, why do you want me to preach on? Why do you want me to preach? And I get these little things all week long. And, you know, just stuff to think on. And I, and I won't even think about that part of the message and here he starts putting it all together. And I think about that verse of Scripture. He said, line upon line, precept on precept, here a little, there a little. Will he bring it together? And I'm thinking, you know, that's what he's been doing with me all week long. Working on what we need. Amen. Ain't you glad he knows what we need? Amen. The Bible said even, even before we ask. That's right. Even before we ask. Now that's pretty awesome. He, even, he knows our hearts and He knows our minds. He knows everything about us. You think about that just a minute. He knows. He knows what, the truth. He knows what you think about someone else. Yeah. You better be good. That's right. <laughs> I'm just telling you for y'all to do it. You, you think, well, nobody can read my mind. God is. Amen. Don't think God don't know what you're thinking or what's what's going on. You better you better start the house in love and compassion and care about one another. Don't don't let the enemy come in and don't let him start separating and tearing down. We gonna we're gonna do one that says what a mighty God. Do we serve a mighty God this morning? Amen. Do we serve a mighty God, church? Amen. Amen. Then you can have a sign of song.